I'm George Small. That's Charlie Otto in the ambulance. Charlie was my neighbor. He got his hand in a picker this afternoon. Now he's dead. was just cleaning out his picker. Now he's gone. He was picking corn just like all the rest of us are. I'm finished picking this field of mine. My farm is five miles west of Clinton, Iowa. It's a pretty good farm. This land next to mine belongs to my sister Jane and her husband. Well, I guess Jane's more than a sister. She's a friend, too. She'll want to know about Charlie. It's nice when I've got something on my mind like this to swing into her place. Like most good friends, Jane's a good listener. Doesn't seem to be around the house. Probably out to the barn. Yes, the corn looks pretty good this fall. And my hands help to make it grow. And I can't help thinking about how many things a farmer uses his hands for. for all of these and of course for closing gates too. It's about chore time and Jane must be somewhere out here in the barnyard, probably looking after her heifers. She takes care of her cows like they were her own babies. She picks out the names for them too. I don't know where she gets the ideas. Here is gentle Jeannie, mincing Minnie, sad-eyed Sal, alluring Alice, agile Aggie, and beloved Becky. And here is George and his smelly old pipe, which reminds me to get him some better tobacco for Christmas. It isn't the right time, but I have to tell Jean about Charlie Otto. Of course she's shocked to hear it. You hear how when his hand got caught, Charlie braced to pull, and his leg went in too. It's hard to believe it really happened. Then I remember others too. One was a fellow over in Mercer County, Illinois, Don Holmes. He farms near the town of Joy. Don's neighbor, Ray Davison, was helping him. It was a field of heavy corn, but the picker was still set for small corn. Stalks have been jamming up behind the snapper rollers where the ears are snapped off. Don went back to clean out another mess. It's quicker with the picker running. He shoved the stalks away from the snappers into the elevator. One loose stalk. It went in faster than Don could let go. Ray was quick, all right. He turned the machine in reverse. 
Don had been quick, too, but I guess those stalks win faster than anybody can let go. One more turn, and Don got out. Not all of him, though. One hand stayed. Yes, you lose a lot more than just the hand, though that's enough. You'll be without it every day and every minute for the rest of your life. I know George tries to be careful around machinery, but is that enough? Every one of us thinks it can't happen to me. Be more than careful, George. You need those hands. I am careful, though, and I tell her so. But I know she means it when she tells me to be careful. There are other things in the fall besides working in the fields. I'm ready for some hours in the woods, but I suppose all squirrels are ready too. And there's a weather to think about. But the news won't let me forget about corn picking. They're reporting about a young fellow named Merlin Erickson. Farms with his father, Wesley, over near Oakland, Nebraska. It's getting on in the afternoon. Merlin was out picking. They had 80 acres in corn. The ears were snapping off okay. Clogs hadn't been causing much trouble. But the back end of the picker was catching up a lot of stalks that might cause trouble. He stopped the picker. No, he thought, he might as well keep it going. He wouldn't be near anything that's moving. But he tripped. Merlin turned it off, too late. Another hand gone. 